coast of Maine. Pa, con Conquest, you won't believe your eyes. What is it, son? A big wave washed up a baby on the shore. That's strange, a baby, huh? Washed up on the beach? You don't say. Never heard of such a thing. Yes, but. But what? Take a look. The baby is bigger than a house. Well, I'll be. Look at that. I bet folks, are, folks here have never seen anything like this before. Nope. Sure have it. All set. Can we keep him off? Well, it'll be hard to feed such a big baby, but okay. He needs a name. How about Alfred Bulltop Storm, Storm Along? That's a mighty big name, son. He, we can call him Storm Story for short since he came to us during a storm. Great idea. Stormy it is. Twelve years passed. Stormy went to school in the village, but he wasn't happy. <laughs> My word, Stormy, you've certainly grown into a fine young lad. All 36 feet of you. Ah, oh, people stare at me all the time. That's just because you're so handsome. Nah, you know why. I'm bigger than a whale. I think it's time I move somewhere else. Where do you have in mind? I came from the sea, and I belong on the sea. I'll become a sailor. So Storm Along set off to become a sailor. Soon he became Soon he came upon a big ship. Captain, sir. Well blow me down. I'm looking for work. Can you use another sailor? Well, you're a big boy, but I'm sure we could use you. Come aboard. Captain, are you sure about this? Yeah, he might sink the ship. He's a fine lad, and he may come in handy someday. That day came soon after the ship set sail. Whoa, the sea is mighty rough. I think something got a hold of us. It's pulling us down. Let me take a look. Stormy eased herself gently into the water. She didn't want to make a tidal wave. It's a giant octopus. He's got all eight legs wrapped around our ship. Can you help us, Stormy? I've got an idea. And Stormy disappeared under the water. He's been under a long time. Yeah, I hope nothing's happened to good old Stormy. Give him some time. He would never let us down. Sure enough, Stormy was seen huffing and puffing as he dragged himself back on deck. What happened, Stormy? Yeah, what did you do? Well, I tied all eight legs of those octopus legs in the knots. By the time he gets himself untangled, he'll be long gone. Great work, Stormy. Stormy worked on the ship for quite a while, but he still wasn't completely happy. What's wrong, Stormy? Well, I don't mean to complain, but this ship is feeling too small for me. I might have to move along. But you can't. You're the best sailor this ship has ever had. I have an idea. So the crew got to work. We built the biggest ship anyone has ever seen. That ship was so big the sailors had to ride horses just to get from one side to the other.